What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and I just did my uh, wild card round playoff predictions. Go ahead and check that out if this is uploaded first or that was uploaded first. We'll see whatever. But I do want to get into the head coaching search. I believe this is day five of the head coaching search since uh, since uh, Dave Gettleman was hired. GM Dave Gettleman doing great things already. And um, I just want to update the head coaching search and then uh, get your opinions on it. You guys, please comment and I'll talk to you guys there. We'll have a conversation. I'm going to list out all the candidates for you guys uh, and give you my opinions on the candidates. I have a bunch of names here and, you know, stuff about them and things like that. I'm going off of uh, NorthJersey.com and it's actually a pretty good article. It's pretty organized as well. So I'm going to go after that. Um, you guys do know that today, I believe it was today, that the Giants went ahead and went to New England because, you know, there is some turmoil going on in New England. And there are a bunch of theories out there. Some of them may be true. Some of them may be false. And may some may have a little truth in them. Some may, little, um, may have a little false in them. But there's some turmoil going down in New England right now. And pretty much the cleaning house. John, uh, Josh McDaniels, Matt Patricia open to interviews for a head coaching job and the Giants uh, are entering, uh, interviewing both of them. And just know guys, Josh McDaniels and Matt Patricia, they're getting hired somewhere this year. That means the New England Patriots are going to be without an offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator. There's also beliefs, and I don't know if this is true, there's also beliefs that Bill Belichick may not even be there next season. And I, I, that's a whole nother video. Maybe I'll do a video on that um, if I get provided enough information and get my theory straight. Um, I may do a video on that, but this is a totally different uh, video right now. But just know, guys, we need to pull the trigger on one of these guys. I don't want anybody else besides one of these guys. Uh, Steve Wilkes is also a good option, but um, and we'll get to him in a few. But other than that, there's some uh, some clown named Eric Studesville who apparently has a chance of being um, a the New York Giants head coach. And the dude was literally a, just just a uh, I believe he was an interim head coach or all you know assistant head coach. For the Broncos and a running backs coach. I mean, this guy, I, I don't, he has no experience right now being a head coach. I want someone that's experienced. I don't want anybody trying out the head coaching job. That's a serious position for an organization like us that's trying to get a playoff run or a Super Bowl run going for Eli before he goes. I want somebody experienced in, you know, being a coordinator or a former head coach, what have you. It doesn't matter. I want someone experienced. To me, Eric Stoosville is totally out of the picture. We need to get either um, Josh McDaniels or Matt Patricia soon. So, we're going to get into the candidates right now. The Giants went to New England. They went ahead and, along with a lot of other teams, they went ahead and um, interviewed Josh McDaniels and Matt Patricia and I believe they, they interviewed Matt Patricia first. I don't know if it's for any re particular reason or just it doesn't matter who went first based on you know their schedules. Um, so uh, I'm going to say who I want out of those two. I want definitely offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels. And I know you know having a defensive minded head coach isn't a bad thing as well. But we already have Steve Spagnuolo. But here's the thing. I'll, I'll get into that after after that. But. Josh McDaniels, I want him because we're we're getting into a new era. Eli Manning is, you know, sad to see, but he's moving on, you know, in his career. He's going to he's going to retire, you know, between these two years. So, we're going to have a new quarterback. I want to have a coach that can coach this quarterback up to, you know, to make him become something great, you know, have a a coach to 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 uh, quarterback relationship. I want them to develop together. I know Josh McDaniels has had some problems as the Denver Broncos head coach before, but I think he's going to come back, come to this great organization, and develop uh you know um a relationship with either Davis Webb or somebody we pick up in the draft. I just want them to develop so well and, and you know um you know. Just just get a dynasty going together. I like that idea. But, you know, should Matt Patricia come in, I don't think that would be a bad option as well. Um, you know, he's a good defensive coordinator, very great a very decent defensive coordinator. And, you know, that you know, that quarterback to coach relationship doesn't have to be with the offensive minded coach. You guys know Bill Belichick, former defensive coordinator of the uh New York, uh, New York Giants. He's a defensive guy, and you know he has a strong relationship with Tom Brady. We'll see how that goes right now with all this turmoil going on. You know some behind the scenes stuff going on between those two. But I mean they had a great relationship for 15 plus years right now. And you know Tom Brady is a quarterback, and uh, Bill Belichick is a defensive minded coach. And 
you know, that that is what it is. But, you know, if I had to choose, I want somebody, you know, with an off- offensive mind to coach up a young quarterback and build him up, uh, you know, to be a Hall of Fame type, type player. So, uh, in my opinion, I want Josh McDaniels as my head coach. So, um, there's that. But, you know, move on to Matt Patricia as well. You know, like I said, um, he's not a bad option. And um, here's why I would like Matt Patricia should it not work with Josh McDaniels. There are rumors going around that Steve Spagnuolo, if he does not get this job at head coach, that he's going to be on his way somewhere else, go ahead and be a defensive coordinator for somebody else, uh, for a different team. So if he loses this job, I hear that he's moving He's moving right out. So um, that's going to be sad to see because I really like Steve Spagnuolo and I love his scheme. I love his system. Um, you know, it's a get out there to the quarterback, blitz everybody. You don't know where we're coming from type uh, scheme. Uh, runs a great, great 4-3 defense. So, um, you know, I want him to stay, but he's probably going to be on his way out if he doesn't win his head coaching job. I believe he was already interviewed for the head coaching job, so um, there's that. He's another candidate. To me, he's at, the, he's at the bottom of the barrel along with Eric Studesville. I don't want it, not because I don't want him as head coach. I just want him as defensive coordinator. That's where I want him at. I think he'll do fine as defensive coordinator. Uh, I just feel like if we get him at head coach, you know, it's going to be like another Ben McAdoo situation where Ben McAdoo had, you know, as offensive coordinator, he had a great offense for the Giants. I mean, we, we were making things work with, with just regular everyday guys with a terrible offensive line, so on and so forth. Here he is that, you know, uh, Ben McAdoo, you know, comes in as head coach and we can't even get a 30 point game. You know, he's never had a 30 point game as head coach. So um, I just I don't want too much on Steve Spagnuolo's plate. You know, I want him as as DC. That's where I want him at. So that's why I'm not opposed to having Matt Patricia as um, you know head coach because he can come in and be the head coach and still orchestrate the defense along with whoever comes in as defensive coordinator. Should Steve Spagnuolo up and leave? Uh, so there's that. Moving on, uh, we got Panthers defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes. And he's been the defensive coordinator for Carolina for quite a while. I believe four seasons right now. Uh, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Four seasons. Uh, I'm trying to look over here. It doesn't really say anything about that. But the Panthers have had a very stout defense for the past couple of years now, ever since he's got there. At one point, they were the number one defense in the league. I believe that was their Super Bowl run. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that was their Super Bowl run. They were like top five defense. And I believe they were in the top 10 the whole time he's been there. So he can coach defense. But can he coach as a head coach? I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, I don't think he has any experience as a head coach. Um, so... Uh, I believe, yeah, I, he served as an assistant head coach to Ron Rivera and defensive coordinator. Um, yeah, so since Sean, McDorm- Sean McDermott departed to Buffalo, so that's this season, um, he was assistant head coach. So maybe maybe Ron Rivera was teaching him, you know, the ins and outs, you know, the, the goods and ups and downs uh, about being a head coach in the NFL. So uh, maybe that's the reason why Dave Gettleman brought him in. I'm not really sure. Uh, where the hell did my, oh, there, there it goes, okay. Uh, moving on, you know, Eric Studesville, I mean, wh- who is this guy? I don't want him, I, apparently they want him because he has such a great coaching ability, like, you know, uh, you know, the intangibles about a coach, you know, he has great personality, he relates to everybody, he's a great, uh, a great leader in the locker room and stuff like that. Sure, that's nice and all, but can he win, can he, can he get us to some wins is the question. Can he win us some games? Uh, you know, can he manage a game? So, um, I don't know if that's really the right option. You know, he has to, you know, I would like to know the guy, you know, I would like to you know, watch some more interviews on him and stuff like that. Uh, I'll probably do some more research on that, see how I feel about him. Cause the Dave Gettleman, apparently there's no connection to those two. Uh, no, there is a connection. I believe Dave Gettleman knows him. Um, so, um, yeah, it, it would be an out of the box type, you know, um, hiring should he get hired over the you know the two patriot candidates and steve wilkes i believe he's a he's a you know a, a dark horse to, to to make this uh head coach uh to be a head coach for the giants so i don't think that's gonna happen and then you know we've got steve spagnuolo like i said i think he should be our last option there's also a possibility i think the e i think the new york giants requested uh to interview Eagles defensive coordinator Jim Schwartz for the head coaching job. I am completely opposed to this whatsoever. He had a terrible run as uh, Detroit Lions head coach. He's a good defensive coordinator. Don't get me wrong. He did very well in Buffalo and did very well. Uh, 
it has the number one defense. I think no, not number one defense. Um, Jacksonville has that, but has a very stout defense and put a, put together a very good defense in Philadelphia. Um, but right now, I I don't want him as a head coach. There's no way in hell I I don't want him as head coach for the Giants. Definitely not a classy guy as well. I don't really like him as a as a guy either. But as a coach, you know what I'm saying. Then. Um, here's an interesting one, sure, I mean, they also, the Giants also requested to interview Vikings head coach, uh, Vikings offensive coordinator, Pat Shermer, um, you know, I don't know, I and mean, he was a head coach before for the Cleveland Browns, didn't have a great record, then again, you know, not all head co- you know, no, no head coach has a great record with the Cleveland Browns, uh, 9-23 record right now, I mean, he's a decent offensive coordinator. Had make you know had some things going in there in Minnesota with a, ca- a quarterback carousel there. So gotta give him props for doing that. But you know, can he really be our head coach? You know what I'm saying? So um, not really sure if that's gonna um, turn out. And I also see here the sleepers: Steelers O line coach Mike Munchak, who used to be the coach for the Tennessee Titans. I I think this is a long shot. I think that that's just uh, something they're throwing out there on this website, but. Uh, not really sure about that, but you guys let me know in the comment section below who do you guys think should be and could be, and there's a difference there. Who do you guys want as a head coach, and who do you guys think is going to get the head coaching job? I want to know in the comment section below. For me, in my opinion, I'll give you the whole ranking going down. For me, it goes Josh McDaniels, it goes Matt Patricia, it goes Steve Wilkes, it goes Steve, uh, Steve Spagnolo. Then it goes, um, then it goes uh, Eric Studeville, and then Pat Shermer and stuff like that going down there. And who I think should get it is Josh McDaniels. Who I think could get it, um, I don't know. I just have this weird feeling they'll go with Matt Patricia. I think they'll go, you know, one of those two. Uh, I just, I, I feel like they might go Matt Patricia because of the whole uh, Steve Spagnuolo leaving situation. Uh, I think they want the defense to be solidified as well and, you know, worry about who's going to be the offensive coordinator soon enough. Because if you guys didn't know, Mike Sullivan got hired as the quarterback's coach for um, the Denver Broncos. So he's out of there for the New York Giants. So we're going to be looking for an offensive coordinator. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. With all that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.